Craig, what up, Jenny? Boom, boom. What's happening? First and foremost, congratulations, Jenny. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Spit another kid out. <laughs> Going for a record. It's a beautiful thing. I'm almost caught up with Lauren Hill now. <laughs> <laughs> now you got like eight more to go. No, no, no. She's got um. She's allegedly pregnant with her sixth baby, and I just had baby number five. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, you get it in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Not really, not now, but <laughs> I was. Uh, so drama. You have a new mixtape out, and we want to talk about that mixtape because it's getting a lot of press. First of all, um, you have Omarion on there who remade One in a Million from Aaliyah. Mm-hmm. So what did you think, like, when you guys are putting that together? Because, you know, there's going to be so many comparisons. Like, when The Dream came out with his, it was terrible. Yeah. Um, you know, Omarion had, had, had came to me about his mixtape and everything, and, you know, I thought it was a great idea. You know, he, he said he basically, he's, he's got new management, he's got a new team, and uh, he felt like it was time for a new beginning, and he played me a lot of the records, one in a million being one of them. He also redid uh, Jodeci, uh, Come and Talk to Me, and it sounded good, man. You know, I... I was just excited, you know. I remember a time when people didn't even didn't even uh, couldn't even think of DJ Drama and an R&B mixtape in the same sentence. And now, you know, I done I done churned out a lot of them, and most recently on Marion. And I, you know, I, I'm really proud of it. Okay, and so tell us about the mixtape. I mean, where can you get it? You can go online and get uh, Marion's mixtape. It's on it's at that, thatpiff.com. You know, it's on the homepage, so you just go to online at thatpiff and and look up Marion and DJ Drama. It's called The Awakening, and you know, you can download it for free. Sounds good. Drama, you got the new song out called Oh My, featuring Fabulous, Roscoe Dash, and Wiz Khalifa. And Fabulous is uh, a hot jam 10 artist. We have our big concert uh, Thursday night, June 2nd, out here at the XL Center, you know? Yeah, I might have to try to make an appearance for, for that one. Jenny, have you heard my record? My record is so crazy, man. It's about to uh, be one of the biggest. No, it is. It is. It is. It's Craig crazy. is actually about to play it right when we're done talking to you. No, you have to hear it, and then I have to get your opinion because, you know, it's, you know, in Connecticut, you guys have a lot of beautiful women out there. You know what I mean? So I, I really feel like uh, it, it's, it's, it's speaking directly <laughs> to what we're talking to right now. <laughs> Craig was just making fun of you. But you should come up. <laughs> Listen, you should come up that night because we got uh, our brother DJ Khaled. He's going to be out here with a lot of his friends. So it's going to be a good look. You need to come out here that night. Now, I'm about to book my ticket right now. Think, think about it. You know, we, we get it together. You know, we got the after party. We rocking, you know. That's easy. No, I, I'm serious. When we get off, I'm, I'm going to go online. I'm going to look, and I'm going to call Fab, and I'm telling him we're performing this song, Oh My, at the concert. And, you know. Oh, my. We're going to be up there walking back and forth on the stage. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do the whole thing. So, listen, I need to know about T.I. because I know T.I. is getting out in what, September? September 29th, he's coming home. Have you talked to him lately, and how is he doing? He's good. I actually um, I, 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 uh, emailed him about two weeks ago. You know, he was in the hole for a while. He got out. There's a couple people on his email list, so I sent an email through uh, Hannah, who works for Grand Hustle, and uh, he wrote me back. He said he's good. He's in good spirits. You know, he's ready to get to work, man. I told him about my record. It's doing good. And, you know, he's just he's ready to get back to the grind. So it's clear that um, I, I think this will probably be his last go around in the in the joint. Yeah, well, I would hope so. But I mean, obviously, he did say that last time too. Not to you know throw any hate out there, but he did say that last time they had turned his life around. No, I mean you you have a point. You definitely have a point, and um, hopefully. He can learn from those mistakes and, you know, keep it moving and we can all move forward. Right. Okay. So, I mean, as far as the Grand Hustle lineup, I mean, who else is now there? I know that B.O.B. is there. Who else is there? Um, I know Young Dro is still on the label. Uh, B.O.B. is still on the label. Um, outside of that, I, I really can't speak any specifics. I'm not sure. You know, I, I've been kind of doing my own thing. But, you know, Grand Hustle is my family for life, man. You know, we rock. I, you know, me and Tip came up together. So, you know, whatever he needs, and I'm ready to go when he gets home. Do you consider yourself a part of Grand Hustle? Because I've always been a little confused by that. Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's um, I, I'm a, I was signed to Grand Hustle through Atlantic Records, you know, and I, of course, for many years, I was T.I.'s official DJ. So, like I said, we came up together, you know, one of the original gangster grills that was kind of, that really made a mark was, was uh, T.I. and P.S.C. meets gangster grills in the streets, you know, which, which kind of broke a lot of ground in Atlanta and so forth. But at the same time, you know, me being who I am, I, I, I'm my own brand. I have my own entity. I have my own company. So, you know, at, at the, in some corporations or some uh, 
some some labels, you know, a lot of people may rely on a, a certain individual to make things happen for them, and I'm blessed to be able to have my own machine and be able to move on my own at the same time. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, it's Grand Hustle for Life. The homie Tip, that's my brother. You know, I'll always have them uh, support and love for him to the end of the day. How's Alpha Mega doing? I don't know, man. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. <laughs> nah, I, I, I saw Alpha Mega in the streets maybe like, uh, six to eight months ago, you know. He's he, still making music, right? Nah, not that I know of. You know, I, I had actually ran into him before he put out those T.I. Uh, diss songs. So, you know, he, you know, he, he was looking all right. I mean, we spoke for a quick second. I asked him how he was doing. He said he was he was doing okay, and you know what I mean? I kept it moving. Okay. Flash year's news. Dan, Jenny gets it from new news. Oh, please. Yeah, just don't hang up on us no more. Oh, please. Alpha Mega, people are still, they still want to know what went on with that situation. <laughs> no, nah, man, y'all called, you guys called me like the <laughs> ten, 10 minutes after the news broke and put me in the middle of that. Jenny Boom Boom's favorite thing to do. So I, I just wanted to know what was going on. You were my closest link to a TI. Exactly. Exactly. You know? I had no answer. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hey, drama, matter of fact, uh, happy belated birthday. I saw the video of the party down there in the A. It was crazy. A lot of celebrities, you and Jeezy together. I, I like to see that, you know? Yeah, man, appreciate that. Thank you, man. Shout out to all my Taurus out there. Me and Jeezy, you know, we've been speaking a lot, and actually we're about to get back to work, working on a mixtape. Uh, hopefully it'll be ready for Memorial Weekend. You know, he, he's got a lot of good records. I've heard a whole bunch of them, so people definitely need to be looking out for Thug Motivation 103. Yeah, well, what's the problem with that album? Why can't it come out? Um, I don't really know. You know, that's really a question for Jeezy, but I just think that, you know what I mean, there's a lot of... You know, when you make a classic album like Thug Motivation and then, you know, when you get into a certain space or even after a recession, maybe, you know, maybe he just uh, he wants it to be right. You know, you, you, you can't rush greatness. I love that quote from you. You can't rush greatness. Yeah. That should be a T-shirt. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot there. <laughs> well, you know, it was nice talking to you. Are you planning some big party for T.I. when he gets home? Like, what's happening? Yeah, we're going to do some things, you know. I, it's September, so we got a little bit of time. In the meantime, you know, I, I'm planning some big parties around my record. Oh, my, I just shot the video last week. Some of it in Atlanta at my birthday party, some of it in New York, and some of it in uh, Miami. So be on the lookout for that. That'll probably drop around Memorial Weekend. The record is going crazy, man, with nice. Khalifa, Roscoe Dash, Fabulous. And, uh, you know, shout out to all the beautiful women in Connecticut, man. You know, we're going to dedicate this record to you, my homie Craig G, Jenny Boom Boom. I love y'all, man. Y'all my family. I got to come to the Concert. Yeah, well, we'll see you June 2nd then. And where can we find that Oh My record? Um, you can find it on my Twitter page, soon to be on iTunes next week. It's called Oh My. You can just Google it and, and look it up and, and download it for free. Thank you, Drama. Appreciate y'all. It's all love.